Hey guys, Brian with Live in Our Vision. Today, I'm going to replace this thing, step motor. This power step motor has been making some noises for a while now, and it finally went out. So, I ordered a new one off Amazon. Um, saved a ton of money getting it off there. This part number here was no longer available, but I was able to get a replacement part. One thing I did before I did order it is I took this motor off and left it plugged in, and I held some pliers on this gear here just lightly. Well, I was only able to just barely put pressure on this and it was skipping. So I got the motor and now we're gonna replace it. Here is a website that I found the electric motor for the replacement um, exact motor that came out of ours. And as you can see, it's $257.95. Found it on Amazon, same model number as ours, and the replacement model number, because they do not make that exact number anymore, is this number here. And as you can see, $80.96. Big savings. The first thing I want to do is the old motor had this uh, clamp on the wire itself. I'm actually going to move it over to this so that this isn't hanging so much. I'm going to put this clamp, this bracket, not really a clamp, on here and uh, tighten that down here. plenty of wiggle room there. So this motor came with this wire taped around the back side, but for this particular um, coach, this motor has to sit like this and it has spacers that go in on the top and the bottom. So when this wire was taped clear back here, it couldn't reach. So I had to take that tape off so that it'll reach over here. Okay, now before I start bolting it down, I got thinking, what if this is turned in or turned out? I don't know where, where to have this step when I fasten this in. So I had Michelle turn the key on, open the door to where I know when the door opens, this is going to be extended completely out. And then had to turn the key off, make sure that it's working the way it's supposed to. So I just had her leave the door open. So now that it thinks that it's extended all the way out and all I'm gonna do is hook this up with the step extended all the way out and then I'll know it's where it needs to be. Let's get to putting this together. I went ahead and I used uh, just some white lithium grease. Uh, it's good for metal on metal to keep them from rusting, keep them lubed. Again, it was pretty easy. Uh, putting it back together it should be fairly easy too. It's just trying to get those spacers on there and uh, lined up in the holes here. Okay, now the trick to getting this lined up so the other bolts will fit. If you put this in here and you get the one bolt in and this gear is locked into this gear, it won't turn any further. So you gotta kinda eyeball push that gear back just a little bit and get those other holes lined up and now start to tighten this one bolt to hold it in place. Now you don't want to forget to put this plate back on there. I'm going to put this one bolt in first and it has to go through the plate and there's a spacer that goes in between it and the motor on the opposite side of this plate hope you can see or understand <laughs> what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to see here. A little tricky trying to get that first one in there. What I'm saying is, is that spacer right there in between. Now there's another spacer that goes on top of that bolt. All right, now this needs to be all the way out. I'm gonna try to hold it here with my legs. See how well that works. <laughs> and then try to slip it in that gear and make sure those other holes are lined up. Because once you get the gear in the teeth of this gear that goes to your step, you can't move it back and forth. You can't turn this left or right. So you have to make sure it's in the right tooth, lining the bolt holes up. Let's get this first one into those threads so it's holding it still. 
Okay, got that snugged a little bit. All right, got it slipped in between the motor and the plate. Now I need to try to slip this other one on the top side in between the motor and the frame so the bolt will go through it. There it is. If it lines up, that third one should line up. There's only three holes. All right, I don't want to tighten it down too tight. Okay, so now I've got this last one started. Now I'm gonna snug them all up. I like to try to keep them all even. Snug them about even. Especially right towards the end. Kind of put the same pressure on it. Boy, those flies are horrible here. Okay, one other thing I wanna do is this gear slides back and forth and it goes to the step and it slides over this plate so i want to shoot some lithium in there to create less friction because i did notice it had a little bit of wear on it okay michelle yeah. all right go ahead and shut the door let's check it out and see if it works shut the door. yep make sure you're out of the way of the step okay open it up All right, step on the step, make sure it's sturdy. Is that switch on or off for the step? It's on? Turn it off. Okay, now you can shut the door. All right, so I'm good. running a lot smoother now a few things that i used in replacing this motor it took a 10 millimeter socket and i used a white lithium grease to grease all the metal parts to keep them from rubbing and keep them from rusting and that was pretty much it and that's all there is to it if you have any questions about this replacement be sure to make a comment down below thanks again for watching hit that big like button if you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe See you in the next video.